क्लास फिफ्थ एज यू ऑल नो वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड लेसन सेकेंड इन आर प्रीवियस क्लासेस टूडे वी विल कंटिन्यू विद द लेसन थर्ड दैट इज एनिमल्स एज वी ऑल नो आवर एनवायरमेंट हैज सराउंडेड विद डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एनिमल लाइक insects bird reptiles in this chapter we will learn about them so let's start without wasting our time you have learned about different kind of animals they are found on land in water on trees and in the air the animals that leaves in our surrounding they found in different type of reason like some of them leaves on the land some of them leaves in the water some of them leaves on the tree and some leaves in the air animals can be divided into six major group on the basis of their certain feature all the animals have different kind of feature on the basis of their features they have divided into six major groups to be able to live in these varied habitats different animals have developed different modes of breathing feeding and movement so according to their different uh, habitats different animal have different mode of breathing means some breathe through their skin some breathe through their lungs and feeding and the movement so let's start one by one first we are going to learn about fishes understood what we going to learn about their fishes they live inside the water we all know that fish cannot survive without water they live in the water they have fins scale gills and tail what they have they have fins scales gills and tails these organ help them to live in the water these all organs of the fish help them to live inside the water as you can see here i have a draw a figure to explain their part of the fish this is the gills part gills support the fish to breathe inside the water it is situated near the eye what its work it supports the fish to breathe inside the water scales on their body fins what they do they helps the fish to move in the water for their movement fins they used and the tail for the changing of directions understood now next topic is reptiles who called reptiles what are reptiles the animal that crawls on land crawls means jo zameen pe ringte hain the animal that crawls on land are known as reptiles understood reptiles they crawls on land they can live in water also reptiles can live on the land also as well on the inside the water also but they are better adapted to live on the land means they are well can they can well survive on the land as compared to the water bodies crocodile turtles snake and lizard are the reptiles means these are the reptiles that can live in the water also and on the land also water reptiles the reptiles are the animal that crawls on land examples crocodile uh, crocodiles turtles snakes lizard are the reptiles and they can live inside the water also and on the land also now next heading is amphibians amphibians understood amphibians have have the same feature as reptiles they also can live on land as well on water frog and toads are amphibians frog and toads both are amphibians i think one question is arising in your mind what is difference between frog and toads so the difference between frog and toads are they both are amphibians and they are similar in many ways but the main difference are 
Frog also usually have most slimy skin where toads have dry and bumpy skin. Frog have their skin, um, frog body skin is most, means they have moisture on their body. Whereas toads skin are dry. Understood? This is the difference between frog and toad. Understood? And the other difference is frog eggs are found in a mass and while toads eggs are found in chain when they lay the eggs the frog or uh, toads lay the eggs frog eggs found in the mass like this ek jagah hi aapko frog ka egg milega but toads mein kya hota hai they form a chain series understood now next heading is we are going to learn about birds most birds fly in the air they have wings to fly as we all know birds fly in the air and what part of their body help them to fly their wings help them to fly this is known as their wings wings helps them to fly they are better adapted to live in the air and they are better adapted to live in the air means they like to live in the air now after that we are going to learn about the mammals what do you know who are mammals mammals are the animal that give birth to their young ones understood mammals are the animal that give birth to their young ones and feed their babies i am repeating again mammals are the animal that give birth to their baby and feed their babies understood mammals have hair on their body they give birth to their young ones most mammals live on land most of the mammals live on land a whale lives in a water whale is a fish but it it is a animal understood a only mammal that live on water is whale understood a only mammal that live in water is whale and others and mammals some example of mammal that have given cows deer lions elephants zebras etc these all are mammals means they can give birth to their babies and they can feed their babies now after that our next topic is insects understood a next topic is insects insects form the largest group of animals living on the land water and air insects form means on our land water or air the most num um, number of animals that are found is insect means the num large number of animals which we found are insects what they are insects understood they have six leg all the insects have six leg and wings thorax and abdomen and their heads bear a pair of filler compound eyes and mouth part situated to their method of feeding here you can see the figure of insects it's given now i'm going to explain as you can see 1 2 3 how many legs it have three one side and three other side 1 2 and 3 so how many legs it have six legs total three this side and three this side then it have six legs then they have wings they have wings two wings means num one pair of wings thorax and abdomen abdomen means the stomach part abdomen and their head bear a pair of filler and their head bear bear means unke paas hota hai bear have they have filler pair of filler, uh, filler means two pair means two to antenna here is given in your book antenna it means filler only when we uh, when we talk about the single one we use 
antenna and when we talk in the plural uh, when we talk about the plural form that is filler understood filler okay so they have pair of fillers compound eyes they have and mouth part situated to their method of feeding means what uh, method they use to feed according to that their body mouth part is developed understood and next heading is breathing in animals and uh, what is our next heading breathing in animals that we will discuss in next class class 5 i hope that you got a better explanation have a look on third lesson please do a re short revision till to your insect heading that i have explained you and uh, have a nice day bye bye